everyone, it's Paul from Alexandria Knife Sharpening and Laser Engraving. So today what I'm going to show you is a map that I burned into a bamboo cutting board with my X-Tool S1 laser. Then I did a resin pour for the Potomac River on this map. The total project time was about two days, but most of it was waiting for the resin poured river to dry. So that takes about 24 hours. And I've been doing a lot of cutting boards lately. The bamboo ones are great. I, they're very inexpensive. You can buy them in multi-packs on Amazon. I'll put links to ones that I like and have used in there and the ones that you're going to see in this video. I have also done some really great acacia wood cutting boards. They're also pretty affordable and they come out really nice. And I recently found a company that does cutting boards that are very, very nice. And they're more high end and they're designed specifically for laser engravers. They're, uh, I'll send you, I'll show you the link to that. They are absolutely beautiful cutting boards, a little bit more higher end. These cutting boards are costing me, I think it's around $22 a piece. The other cutting boards, the ones that I'm getting off of Amazon are only running me, most of them under $5 a cutting board. Uh, they do make great gifts. Also, I have given some away to some of my best customers as a thank you. And that's always, you know, a great thing that you can do also when you have things like a laser engraver. Uh, but they've also been very easy up sales. Uh, the one great thing I have, uh, one of my chefs has a, a barbecue truck and company and he's going to be ordering some of the big cutting boards, the really nice ones for his barbecue truck so looking forward to that all right so here is the uh, laser engraved map and resin pour hope you enjoy the video have a great day everyone and today we are going to do a cutting board inlay so i have a map here this is a map of alexandria virginia and what I want to do is the first thing I'm doing, so I've showed before how to make a map at snazzymaps.com. So you can go and check out my other YouTube videos on that. I have a whole tutorial on building a map on snazzy maps and how to bring it into whatever software you need to use. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit so I want to do the water in blue. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and anything that's a little too close to the water, I'm going to make some space and, and take it out because I want a very clean uh, way to inlay and pour the blue uh, and not have it mix with the black roads. So here is how I'm going to do that. I'm simply going to come and I'm going to use the eraser and I'm going to drop the size on this a little bit. I'm going to go down even more. There's a two. And I, so anything like this where I don't want it really, I'm just going to take it out. Just taking that road out. So I'm going to, you know, we don't need to see all these perfect, incredible little details of this map. I want just a nice clean blue waterway that matches very closely what's here. So I'm going to just kind of take out any of this stuff that's just a little too close. And yeah, let's I'm going to take that whole road out there. And this is just because I want like I said a nice clean Pour. So I want my blue water nice and clean, all blue. I want my black roads all black. So I won't make you sit through all of this. What I will uh, come back and show you uh, when it's done, but you're getting the idea of what I'm doing as far as editing and just cleaning up that uh, waterway and any roads that are a little too close to my waterway. All right, everybody, as I mentioned earlier this week, I had a small problem with the audio on this track and it was all staticky 
So I'm having the voice over everything here. So what I'm doing here is I am just lining up this cutting board and I'm using the X-Tool S1 laser gives you a crosshair and I can go around and I can mark points with that crosshair and that and that's what marks the shape of the item that I am laser engraving in the software. So right now that was just doing a height setting and now I will start literally physically moving the laser around by hand and as I move it around I click a button on the laser and it re records just that point. And I have a lot of options in the software. If it's a simple square, you can do it with two measurements. If it's a circle, you can do it with three. Uh, the one I used for this was called Polygon, which is kind of cool because I can take as many measurements as I want and then use that in the software. And you'll see it gives me a very accurate shape of the item to be engraved. And then all I have to do is place the artwork onto the piece to be engraved. So it's very simple. Okay, so now all I have to do is hit end marking and you can see it drew the outline of the cutting board. And now I'm going to just move the artwork into place and put it on the cutting board where I want it to engrave at. And it's that simple to put your designs and artwork on the things that you want to engrave on the X-Tool S1. And what's really cool is you can do multiple items. You can you can outline uh, several things. You can put multiple pieces of artwork on there. I can put text on there and just kind of move everything around where it needs to be, get it all set to go, and then start the engraving. So very simple. That was one of my big concerns when I started. So now I'm hitting what's called framing. Framing will draw an outline of where the engraving is going to be on the actual piece and it just goes around nice and slow and you can control the speed of that too and it shows you with that same little crosshair that i showed you earlier that i was marking with where it's going to be on the board just to kind of double check things okay so this is what it looks like when you hit the framing button i just hit frame and you'll see it's drawing an outline of the area that it's going to engrave on that board and that's simply how it shows you where it's going to be and now we're going to go into the laser burning of the map. I did time lapse this so that you don't fall asleep or get overly bored. And I cut it kind of into a couple of sections there to make it a lot quicker. Uh, this actually took about 30 some minutes. Okay, so here you see after I poured the blue mica powder into the resin and poured it into the river part of my cutting board, what you will notice if you look to the outside of the river, you can see kind of a shadowy area that's clear. I did do a light coat of clear resin that I let dry before I poured the river part. The reason for doing that is to keep any of the blue from bleeding into any other parts of the cutting board, especially on a light cutting board like this, that's highly advisable to do first. So after allowing it a full 24 hours to dry, I used a random orbital sander with about 220 grit to remove the excess acrylic and clean up the wood a little bit. And then I went up in progressions. Uh, the highest I went was about 400 grit and I stopped there. And then I did use some higher grits to clear the acrylic. To get the acrylic part nice and clear, I used a, a wet sandpaper for used in automotive industry about 3000 grit and it cleared up really nice. My final step was to treat the entire cutting board with Odie's oil and I allowed that to dry and then on the next day I treated the entire cutting board again with Odie's wax which is really awesome. I really love both of those products and they're both food safe and they do a really nice job of making the cutting boards waterproof for a really significant period of time. Better than many of the other products that I have used. And this is uh, the finished product here. I was really happy with it. The only thing I might do next time would be to isolate the water. 
and maybe burn that section even a little bit deeper so I can get a slightly deeper pour of acrylic. But so far, I was very happy with this project. 